holding this press briefing uh, to confirm that Ireland has, has had its first case diagnosed of COVID-19. And we have to move now to the greatest impact. So from 6pm today, the following measures are being put in place and they will stay in place until the 29th of March. Schools, colleges and childcare facilities will close from tomorrow. We're in the middle of a global and national emergency, a pandemic, the likes of which none of us have seen before. We all need to take steps to reduce close human contact. That's how the virus is spread. Not just at public gatherings or in public places, but also in our own homes, places of leisure and places of work. Large public gatherings are cancelled. All pubs and bars are shut. And we've asked people to curtail or cancel social gatherings like parties, weddings and other celebrations. Uh, so, well, our last college year would have been affected a lot because in our course we do uh, a placement, of a placement uh, for a third year, which would be six months long. So we usually finish up our year around right March, so we actually got to finish our actual academic side of the year um, fully with, the, with our exams being in, on in March, but then when we got to the middle of March we were all supposed to score on placement, so that was actually cancelled for many people. I actually still got to do it, um, I ended up having to do a remote work placement, so I ended up working from home, so I was doing five days a week uh, over summer. Um, just working for VMware in Bonham College, but it was all online, so it was a bit different. Like I didn't actually get to go into the office, so the experience was kind of a lot different. Like I didn't get to meet any of the people in there. I was only met them over Zoom and over Microsoft Teams, so it was a lot different than what I was expected, and I probably didn't get as better, as good of an experience as I would like to. But it's still okay. It wasn't affected much because I was deferring the year. But from what I could tell from my friends, it put a halt on things, but not too much. People still got their exams done and out of the way. But it definitely affected people, not being able to get to other sources and whatnot. I was always going to come back, but if anything, it made me want to come back more and get it out of the way while we were in a COVID era. I prefer it. I think I respond well to the online aspect of things, not having to come in at early in the mornings and stuff and being able to work at my own pace has helped me. I nearly dropped out every, pretty much every week that passes by I consider dropping out and then I drop back in because tutors convinced me to stay in to get a pass. But the whole experience is a bit shit because I'm not getting what I should get out of it. I'm not really gaining skills because I have to teach myself. I don't have a classroom environment where I can ask, you know, they encourage you to ask questions, but it's, a, it's not the same and it's not very easy um, to do so. Because there's usually a bit of feed, like delay and feedback and stuff and people just end up not bothering, bothering. Like people will pipe up and ask a question and get something explained properly, but it's that like you, there, there'd be, uh, you know, if, if, if somebody talks over somebody else, it just kind of, delays the whole process and um, people just decide not to bother in the end because it kind of, in, in my experience anyway, of the more of the more interactive classes, uh, there's a lot of awkwardness. There was a lot of uncertainty. Trinity didn't like communicate with us what they were going to do, um, where other colleges were really, they were communicative with their students of what they were going to do in order to um, provide the lectures but Trinity didn't really do that with us for a while until it was like the week before school started. The current year was pretty hard, is pretty hard. Um, we're all stuck inside our bedrooms no matter how lucky we are to have a big bedroom or small bedroom. All of us are stuck inside, none of us are seeing anyone. It's all just constant school, no breaks. Just, you know, sitting in the library, going on your 20 minute break, like walking down to the shop, your friend works at the shop, so you're just talking for a few minutes. You go back up, you want with someone, they convince you to go for coffee with them, you go for coffee with them. And like an hour later, oh, it's lunchtime, you meet, you see people in the cafeteria for lunch in the main rest, and then you see more people, and you've, okay, you're pulling, you're pulling chairs to tables. I think it's just that, that 
impromptu socialization because now everyone has to plan you know like, oh do you want to call later oh um oh, oh things easier oh i'll be in town later if you want to get coffee everyone has to be planned there's none of that like spontaneity of seeing people i think a lot of friendships have changed maybe not suffered maybe not improved but just um being different because of and person as a chairperson i would have loved to like have that quintessential share moment of just crashing in a student hub like on a couch just like curling up like I, everyone i know was like oh my god made the hub when you're a chairperson you will live in the hub you will sleep in the hub and now it's like no i'm working out of my shed so i think it's just that access campus spaces and seeing people and having a support system is really what i'm missing here The thing I miss the most is obviously my friends being able to get a bite to eat in between lectures and having that break and having that social interaction. Another thing I miss is just being able to walk every everywhere. Like in Dublin, I would get up and walk to the Lewis, walk into college, walk home. And I miss that here. I think that the vaccines will be, they'll help a lot and it's like the more they roll around the fast they do obviously it'll make it a lot better and they'll do these restrictions but um, I still like, feel like there will be a long way to go before things get back to fully normal because just because people even after the vaccines are done and all that people are still going to be in the mindset of this thing is around and people are still going to be scared so I think it'll still take a while before uh, everything kind of goes back to normal and everyone feels safe to start doing everything at normal kind of pace again. Hopefully they are but Personally, I think there is a good bit to go. I think once we get a lot of the vulnerable groups vaccinated, that will be a huge, a huge thing. It's definitely a light at the end of the tunnel. I think we have to be very patient with it. I think to have the expectations that we do right now, um, that it'll be so quick is pretty silly of us. Um, I think it definitely is the light of at the end of the tunnel, I think college will be back to normal next year. We just have to hold on tight.